again. Oh, but you don't have more portal tried to do this no. for me. You're here. Thank goodness. Hello, Radatasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Say, have you a moment for another piece of important business? Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the four seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning. And now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind.
Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Do you yawn? Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap! Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. Look, over there.
Steps I hear. Exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fellow, huh? He must be talking about the spirit we met earlier. We should head back and tell him. That water wheel's getting no water.
I see. The geyser under the water wheel is blocked. <laughs> Something appears to be atop that island. You did it, Master Kratos! A spectacular job! Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. We could use that lift. But not while it's up there. of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. <laughs> just refuse to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. Come from my homeland.
Okay, I'll just say it. I'm getting a really terrible feeling from this place. This was where we freed the imposter. Dear. Oh. Odin took our noblest instincts and used them against us. That's what he always does. We will bear the weight of our mistakes not with guilt, but with footsteps heavy with purpose. Come. We have work to do. Excellent job you've made of it. I do not need your encouragement. Oh. oh, no. I've offended you. Oh, no. I think you hurt his feelings. Thank <laughs> you. 
got it. I'm back. Don't mind me. I know you don't want me around. I did not say that. You don't need to. The boss sends me out the most often, and I know why. I'm unbearable. That's why you hate me. You are not my enemy. You are irrelevant. A stranger. So, you don't despise me? I do not feel one way or the other. That's honestly kind of a relief. I mean, yeah, you're a stranger to me too. But why should I care what you think? Now you understand. Fantastic, Master Kratos. I'm glad to know we do not care about each other. Get bent! I don't know if that was necessarily the best lesson, but, uh, what do I know? That's the last of them. And that's the last of them. Spectacular work. I guess. Not that I care. You mean nothing to me. Nothing at all. That's, uh... That's great, friend. You're not my friend. Goodbye. I love you. Good gracious. Anything interesting, brother? Well, that's a quality sphere, but, uh, could be pointier. Now go skewer some folks. Time and drop off your lean work. Why must you make that My goodness, you've been a busy god, haven't you? You found all of them. <laughs> what a rambunctious bunch. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Might have done it sooner. You oh. sought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness, I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Ah, <sighs> what else is there? <laughs> <laughs>